welcome again ladies and gents to another episode of RGJ. As you can see here our first major purchase is the Hornby R8008 Grand Suspension Bridge. We're not going to teach you how to open a box so I haven't done that. What our first impressions are like that's what this is all about. You can see the decking, the plinths, the chain links and everything here. Um, first impressions very good. Seems very st uh, sturdy, very well made. Um, you can get it for £46 on Amazon, uh, cheaper on eBay. This first piece, our opinion, is the plinths themselves. We've had to glue these because they come in two parts, so we've just put a few bits of glue on the um, pins inside. For some reason, they expect you to leave the stickers to hold these together. Not overly convinced about that, but that's our, just our personal choice on it. Um, it would have been better if they were already just one piece. Good thing is two lots of stickers, your own choice, you get a stone look and you get a brick look. We're going to go for the brick look as it suits our, our layout better. The stone looks a bit um, too yellowy if you like for our layout, whereas the brick look hopefully will suit it a little bit better. And then you've got the road deck, uh, sorry, the train deck itself. Um, you have to hook these together. We've hooked the two pit central pieces as you can see. Hook them together and then hook them into the plinths. Uh, so basically, enjoy the video, the hyperlapse that we're going to do of the stickering, which Grace is going to do because, again, she's far more arty than me. And then following that, you'll see my pieces showing the actual construction of it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. So finally we are done. All the stickering is done for these. As you can see, it's been quite a timely process, but I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Especially the more I was going, the longer I'd been doing it, I was certainly picking up an easier way to do it. And hopefully if you are struggling yourself, if you get this kit, follow a few tips. I hope they work out for you too. But 
everyone is different. So if they don't, I do apologise. So we've got here, this whole section here is completely clear. There's no stickering for this. And the same on the smaller ones. We have plans to possibly do some colouring ourselves. Again, for anybody, you could do this along with the line of your layout, what theme you're going with, what colours you've already used. So we haven't decided yet what colour these are going to go. But these are now done so Rob can get them onto the layout to start finalising the layouts that we are hoping to do. So hopefully with the next video should also be a layout. Fingers crossed, can't guarantee, but hopefully we should be that step closer to having our layout finalised. Okay, thanks for watching this. Hope it's useful to you. And if you purchase it, we'd love to know yourselves and how you got on with it. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Well, hello again, guys. Um, we're going to actually construct this Hornby suspension bridge now. It's the R8008 bridge, if I recall the number correctly. Um, I have to say, to start with, one thing I'm not overly impressed with is the stickers. For two reasons. Um, one being is that you've got a load of dead space. I, I don't understand that. Why would you have the stickers down below and above, but nothing in the middle and obviously nothing on the top. The other one is the actual quality of the stickers. Uh, I, I'm sure you, I don't know if you can see it, but um, the the edges, despite this being done last night by my other half, the edges are starting to peel up already. Uh, when, when they've been stuck down, um, they start to bubble straight away and she's already pushed them down several times. You, for example, you can see here the edges pulling away again. Rub along that and no doubt you'll see it again in a minute that's already come up. Again there. I don't think the stickers themselves are Hornby's best work really. I don't know whether to um, get back in contact with them about it. But I have seen other reviews where other people have been less than impressed with the sticker quality. But it is surprising that the stickers themselves don't cover the whole actual unit, as I say. Uh, the other weird thing as well is the unit itself. It comes as two separate halves and you're supposed to rely on the stickers holding it together. Which is a bit strange. I don't get why it just doesn't come as one complete unit. So what we've done is we've stuck some... There's pins inside that go into holes. So what we've done is just stuck some glue inside there. Not to give it a firm lock um, but to help with the stickers locking it together so yeah what we'll do now is get it constructed see what it looks like offer it up to the air it's going to i'm going to have to i'll show you in a minute but it's going to have to uh involve cutting the area down a bit so yeah we'll do a little bit of hyperlapse on the construction and see what it looks like afterwards catch you in a minute guys Right, ladies and gents, general thoughts. Uh, first of all, you probably saw me undoing some of the work. I left that in deliberately because I stepped up and I don't want anybody else to make the same mistake. The chain link that bits here, um, they are two-sided and one side is deliberately supposed to be facing out with, with more of a curve than the flat edge on the inside. So. I did kind of step up there. Please make sure you don't do the same thing. Now, the general dimensions of this, as stated, it's 1.3 metres long. There's a, a 79 millimetre rise to the main deck. So you do need a lot of space. I think if I just um, carefully pull back a bit, it is, as you can see, 
a rather large piece. Uh, so you will need a decent amount of space for it. But that being said, apart from being extremely fiddly, my thoughts are this. These, the chain links, again, it's up to you if you're going to leave it as a permanent feature, maybe a spot of glue on each one because they do pop out occasionally. Uh, the, the overall construction of it, as you can say, doesn't, as you can see, doesn't take very long. It is a solid piece of kit and it will, it does look very, very nice. I'll just do you a short video in a moment just to show you where it's going to be offered up and then I'll have to do some cutting out of the wood. Um, I managed to get it on eBay, someone getting rid of it fairly cheap. Uh, the full price for this on Amazon is about £46, I think it is. Would I buy it again? Possibly. Um, knowing what I know now, being a bit more prepared. Um, having better glue handy. But, as I said, the stickers. But that's that, I suppose that's a small thing. And I suppose some people could say that I'm being a bit picky or what have you. But it is a good looking piece. And I think it will look good on any decent size layout. There is actually an instruction sheet in it and it does show a layout of, on an 8x4 board which I have got here. Um, I wouldn't tempt to go anything smaller. As I say 1.3 meters. That's a good length. Anyway I shall catch you all in a minute when I finish putting it in place. Final little piece. That's the bridge finished cut in place. Um, I've had to do minor cuts there and minor cuts there. Please excuse the shadows. Got the light behind me just to fit it in place. I've got to admit, I am impressed overall. I've mentioned my opinions during the video, but please don't let that sway you. It still is a nice piece. Just there is, in my opinion, room for improvement. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope you don't mind it being too long. Look forward to sharing with you next time. Take care. Please like and subscribe.